Hi guys, so basically what I thought I would do is a very quick video just sort of showing you how I uh, photograph my items. So what I've got here is, uh, I don't know quite the length of these, I think maybe they're about a metre by just short of a metre uh, melamine board. So it's basically sort of white covered chalkboard in one sense. And I've got, I got these uh, custom done on eBay and then shipped to me um, because this is the kind of uh, background I wanted. Um, and it does wipe clean, however you might be able to see there's some marks and stuff on it so I do need to give it a bit of a wipe. It does, uh, it gets harder to wipe clean the more sort of dirt you get on it. So obviously after a certain amount of time you will want to sort of buy some more of these and now I'm coming up to probably well probably over a year of using these now or about a year um, so obviously I do maybe want to think about changing these soon um, but to be honest they're still perfectly fine and I've got these uh, obviously these lights off eBay a lot of people refer to these these are um, I think they're about 28 or 30 pound and they've got really really bright bulbs in I'm not going to actually lift that up uh, lift that off and show you the bulb because it'll just be far too bright but these have been really really good for me um I have actually I've done so many photos with these these are the same bulbs that I actually got with the pack and I don't know when I got these, uh, sorry about the focus, it's obviously because the lights are on. Actually, you know what, I'm going to turn these off for now. Um, and then you can actually see, oh, that, that focus didn't do very well there. But uh, you can see the difference between with them on and off. But um, yeah, so these, I got these, I don't know, um, I would say maybe uh, a year and a half ago. Yeah, it will, have, it will have been. It will have been December 2016. So they have lasted me a long time. So basically what I'm going to do is just show you very quickly how to, well, how I photograph my items. I don't like saying how to because there's so many different ways to go about it that my way isn't necessarily the one way you can do it. But anyway, so I'll set the camera up somewhere and I will show you me photographing a few items. Oh, also I thought I would show you very quickly, since I got that ban, I've actually um, put that up there. So it's check eBay policy if you are unsure on whether an item is restricted or not. And I've wrote out a complete list of not necessarily all the items that are completely banned. There's some items on that list that aren't necessarily completely banned like for example I think there's autographs on there you're fine to sell autographs as far as I'm aware but I've put that on there just to make myself um, a little bit more stringent and a little bit more aware of all the items that might be even a little bit of a grey area or a bit you know harder to sell uh, or a bit sort of you, you might get a ban if you sell them in the wrong way so with autographs obviously if you're caught like selling a fake autograph or anything like that it might not go down well for you so I've put anything on there that is you know maybe a bit of a grey area or that is actually flat flat out you actually can't sell and you'll get a ban so I've done that since I got that ban because I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, you know I'm not I'm a, basically I'm adhering to policy in the future Hi guys, so I don't know how well you can actually be able to see this, but hopefully it's alright. Hopefully you can see the photo area quite well. I just couldn't put my camera up anywhere else really, um, so yeah, it'll have to do there. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to get any old item up, let's just say this random plate for example. So we're just going to get this plate up and I'm going to put it on my photograph area. I have got my lights on now, uh, I don't know whether you can see that very well, but I have got my lights on. Um, and then what I'll do is just make sure it's actually fairly clean. Normally I would clean items before I photograph them. Um, but obviously little bits of dust or whatever can sometimes get on them. So I just dust them off a little bit. Sometimes I use a little bit of a cloth. And then I'll just get my iPhone out. That's all I use. Uh, generally the photos come out pretty well with the iPhone. And I'm assuming Samsung phones might even be better. Or like uh, Android phones. You can use a... Um, you can use a, a camera and everything, but I'm just, I just like my phone really. So then I'll just first off take a photo of the item at the front there. But I always do it to like, can you see me there? Yeah. But I always do it to a slight angle. Just, I don't know why. I just, I've just always done it. So I, t I tilt my phone to a slight angle. And I don't know, it, it just makes me feel like the photo has a bit more personality when it's on an angle. And then if it's got any like decoration, I'll take a look, like this one's got floral decoration on, so I'll just take a photo, just close up of the decoration, 
and close up of the plate itself so people can see you know there's no crazing or there's no chips and all that sort of stuff and then obviously it, this has got like a little uh, gold rim so you can always take a photo of the gold rim and then obviously explain that in your title and or description and then I'm just going to turn it over there and then take a photo of the maker's mark on the back which is Elizabethan uh, fine bone china by Taylor and Kent uh, which is a brand I have uh, got a few bits of their stuff from. So then we'll turn it over and now what I do with plates in particular or jugs or anything like that, I actually get my little uh, tape measure out. Uh, these are really, really good. I use this every single day in my eBay business with photography, with parcels, all that sort of stuff. I would highly recommend you get a tape measure. By the way, I am going to try and leave links to this stuff in the description, the lights and things like that. I don't know whether I'll leave a link to this exact tape measure, but if I can find it, I'll leave the link to this exact one. Uh, I've not had this one very long though, so I don't know how well it's going to be in terms of over a period of time. Um, but yeah, so basically what I'll do, how do I do this now? Right, I'll do it with my left hand. So I basically get that on the rim there, the tape measure there, and then just do a little picture of sort of a rough diameter of that. And then if it's if it's obviously a jug or something like that, I might do the diameter of the top and then I might do the height as well. But obviously in this circumstance, that'll be fine like that. So then that is that photo done. So it's quite, uh, it's quite easy. It's not actually that hard to just whack up it here and uh, do a quick photo. Um, and then, obviously, here I've got this Freddo jar, Freddo cookie jar. I found this, and I thought it was worth more than it is. It's only worth, like, well, I've seen them go for 20 quid. I picked it up for a fiver, thinking it goes for about 30 quid. But, anyway, I'll put it on, list it, get a bit of money out of it, and move on, invest into something else. But, still, quite a cool-looking item here. Again, with this one... I'm going to do uh, a nice photo at the front there, lovely little photo. Just obviously making sure that the camera is in focus as well. Uh, but that is an obvious thing to make sure. Then I'll flip it over and do a photo there. And then with this item, I might actually carefully lift this lid off if it'll... If I can get... There we go. Uh, because it's got a little bit of a latch on it. I don't know if you can see that. So you have to get the actual head out of it via the latch. Um, so then what I'm going to do is just put the head next to it, maybe. I don't normally sell these cookie jars, so I'm just sort of spitballing with ideas, really, of how I can photograph it. So then I might actually do another close-up of the head there. So we're now up to about four, four photos on this item. Don't worry about number of photos, obviously, because you're allowed 12. Let's see. How's that going to go back in there now? How's that going back in there? That's weird. Ah, there, that's how you do it. Right, okay, so that's how you do that. And then I'm just going to take a close-up of the thread over there. And then you could take a, a close-up of the uh, underneath. I don't want to do that now because I'm, I'm scared that the head's going to come off or something and break. Um, but what I'll do, actually, is just do my tape measure as I normally would. Just put it there. And then wait for the camera to focus and then do that. And then that looks pretty cool. And then, as I say, I could take a photo of the one at uh, the bottom of it as well. So that's pretty cool. So that's that one done there. So I'll leave it there, guys. I just wanted this to be a short video just on how I kind of do my photography. I was just doing my photography before, and I thought I'd never done a... I don't think I've ever done a video on this. Like, I might have done very, it, it, like, very briefly, uh, or maybe in one of the, like, short courses I did on my YouTube channel, uh, like, years ago, but I don't know, I don't, I don't know whether I've done a video on this, so, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Mr. Fredo Cookie Jar here, and I'll see you in the next one.